right, this time on Cowbunga Pencil Time, we're going to look at another mostly 3D printed pencil um, that is inspired by the Pentel Twist Erase 3 and the Pentel Sharp Carry. Uh, let's just call this for now uh, the Twist Erase Carry. It is a capped mechanical pencil um, based on a Twist Erase body and has a button in the cap that will actuate the tip like that. And the button is sprung, you can see it come in and out. And you'll notice the button locks out when you put the pen together. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go into the why I made this, what I think about it, and how to download one and put one together yourself. The files are free online. Um, let's get started. Okay, some of you may recall uh, that I made some 3D printed knurled grips for the Pentel Twister Race. It's a fan favorite of the internet and I always wrote it off because of this greasy rubber grip, but um, once I started printing some really nice knurling, let's see if we can get that in focus, um, this became a favorite pencil of mine. Anyway, I'd been using this for a week or so, and I kind of realized that um, when you fill the lead on this guy, it's a very short pencil, and it reminded me of an another favorite of mine, the Pentel Sharp Carry. Um, they kind of don't look all that dissimilar, and that got me thinking maybe I could print a cap with a functional button and have some sort of cap over here and, and make this uh, Twist Erase 3 function like a carry. And kind of what I came up with was uh, this, this set of solutions, which is a knurled grip with some threads that go into a cap both ways. And this cap has a spring mechanism to keep the button nice and tight, and it takes the original Twist Erase clip. Um, I really like it. I consider the project a failure, probably, because I don't think I made a pencil that I liked more than uh, this original Twist Erase. However, uh, I think the pencil is a good one in its own right. Um, and so I'm going to release the files, and it has some interesting qualities in this nice pocketable feature. So mostly I made this cap for this pencil um, just to see if it could be done and see if it would be any good. More of it as an investigation than a product I was convinced would be a good product. Hell, I'm giving it away for free, even if it is good. Um, but... In that spirit, I'm going to take you along the journey and look at all of these pencils and uh, designs for uh, previous iterations of this guy and see how we got here and what I still would like to change in an ideal world and what I think I got right. All right, let's go. So I started with some of these drawings of the Twister Ray's body and grip and what a cap might look like. Um, here's a simplified version that was inspired by a Sharpie cap where the cap on the pencil would just grab on to the eraser cap and the whole cap would function as a button. And I like this idea quite a bit uh, because it would really simplify the design, but it's really hard to hold on to uh, some sort of plug that's fitting the lead tube in the original twist erase and uh, still uh, function and then also somehow uh, fit to this side. So um, the next thing I did was I just drew the internals of the classic Pentel Carry. I took mine apart and looked at it with a flashlight quite a bit. Um, and so you know you can see the cap here actually fit on the pencil both ways and you can see how it fit. This is not to scale and it's a little exaggerated but you know there's a spring and here's this button. And then, um, zoom out a little bit here. Here are the actual components that make up this geometry. So then after drawing the carry, I tried to draw a similar mechanism uh, that would be 3D printable around the Pentel Twist Erase mechanism. Um, so you can see here I had a little uh, notch printed into this grip area. 
that would clip on to this. Uh, this is a cross section of the cap, like if you could cut it in half on a bandsaw. And then there was a button which had a little eraser hole, and then this is an eraser cap or a symbol for one, if you will. And then over here it has this ring. Here's both sides of the ring as it intersects uh, with the saw blade of our mind. And this ring um, rests against the shoulder of the top of this pencil so that um, it always registers to the right spot. Um, this is drawn a little wacky because the plunger actually is limited by this ring as well, so it really should just be like here. But this was just an early conceptual sketch of uh, what I was going to do. And so um, I actually tried like friction fits and clip fits and had problems in a lot of them. Okay, so here are some of the versions of what I made. I think I started here with just a conceptual mechanism, 1.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Um, this was just a tube grip that went on the twist erase in place of the rubber grip, and this was a slip fit cap. And really what I was testing here was this sort of plunger mechanism and retaining ring uh, and shoulder stop for the twist race, and that worked pretty well. So, um, you know, this was never going to be a pen or pencil. It was just going to tell me, you know, w whether what I thought could work would be promising at this scale on a 3D printer. And it was, and so I moved on. Um, I think the next version I have here is 1.0.0.3. Alright, so in 1.0.0.3 we can start it to see it taking shape. Um, as the pen that it's designed around, there's... Um, let me turn this down a little bit. There's a light groove here for the clip to clip on, much like it does in the original twist erase body. Um, it's still a friction fit in here. It has a really large tube opening at the top. And then we start getting, um, I think, this button here and this retaining ring with some prototype tape on it to make it fit. I hadn't figured out all of the tolerances yet. Um, we need a pokey thing. There we go. Okay, and then we have this uh, button that can move up and down in here. Uh, I think at this point it did not have a spring yet uh, to retract the button when not engaged. And I think that was just a nice clean thing uh, to do to mimic the original carry. And it, it looks nice. It feels nice. I have this spring assortment. I will specify the spring that you need for this guy. Um, okay, so went through a couple of versions. The problem I was having with this, this was just a slip cap, or um, eventually I tried some snap caps, but uh, they just, you know, weren't as springy and wear resistant as the original metal carry cap would have been, and I really wanted a positive lock. The whole point of a capped mechanical pencil to me is that you have absolutely no tip wiggle when it's deployed, and so um, you know, a slip fit if this just moved around, right? If this wasn't rock solid, I think this would be a total failure. I would not have even uh, released it. Anyway, I went through a bunch of these versions and eventually came to, um, I think, this guy, 1.0.0.5 or 6, I don't remember, uh, which then had a uh, double helix thread here with like a very large pitch that would screw in this way and then also screw in, this one's a little tight, <laughs> early prototype would screw in this way. Um, this one was good, had a bunch of notes. Okay, so eventually I landed on this uh, design. I made a bunch of tweaks to the tolerances so the clip is nice and tight, and so that um, the eraser dock is very tight. <laughs> uh, oops, the eraser dock is nice and tight. Um, but other than tolerance changes, you know, the 1.0.1. something version, this release version, is um, pretty pleasing to me. I think I succeeded in making a really pocketable pencil that won't poke you, that is nice and tight when it is, you know, put away. And it's also nice and tight and really nice to uh, write with. 
The compromise that I made on this version was that the screw threads um, required shortening this grip so that I can make the cap fit both this way and this way without making the pencil really awkward. And I was limited to this amount of grip space allotted by the original grip on the uh, Pentel Twist Erase 3. So, you know, I think I did pretty well, but the thickness of these added threads required that I make not only the cap longer, but a little thicker so that I could cut, let's see if we can see, so that I could cut the threads into the pen wall. And what that resulted in is what I don't love about the pencil, which is that um, this grip is a little short for me, and also the step is a little large. They're both not ideal. They're compromises that this pencil makes for its pocketability. Um, I think I would be really happy with this pencil if it was both pocketable and more ergonomic or somehow nicer to write with than the original Pentel twist erase. But honestly, once I have added this neural grip to the twist erase, I would much rather use this at my desk if I wasn't going anywhere. Nevertheless, I think this is a really nice pencil anyway, and sort of a, you know, medium failure success. And so anyway, I'm going to release it. All of the files are on GitHub. Um, you can download them for free. Uh, links in the description. Um, print them out with the same printer instructions as the P200 bodies, which is the only slicing and printing instructions on this channel. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to assemble one. And um, yeah, let's do that. I did do one design beyond this pencil, um, trying to combat this step here. Um, this knurling feels really nice and is about the right diameter for me, I think ten and a half millimeters. Uh, but I really didn't love this step, so I was going to try making a body uh, both ridged and knurled where the grip was in the cap. And the cap would be longer, but it would just eat more of the pencil in both directions. So it wouldn't have lengthened the length of the pencil at all, just made the cap much larger. And so I actually did that. I, I made this one with some very fine knurling on it. I don't know if you can see. And this one with um, some ridges. And actually, uh, let's see, I can stick this guy in here. It goes all the way in, you know, but the grip is 13.75 millimeters. It's fairly large, and this takes the clip in the cap. It's just not built. And I thought the sacrifice of this preposterously large grip was just not really what I wanted. And so I kind of thought, anyway, I sliced it. Um, this was the preferable design. And so I kind of quit while I was ahead, and we're going to release this one and move on to some other projects. Okay. Um, Let's put one together. Here are the pieces that you need to make one of these things. So I start with a Pentel Twist Erase 3. Um, I have two caps from a P200 series uh, pencil or copy. I have this is a 930 seconds by one half inch spring. Um, I have an eraser here from a Pentel. I lost the little metal clip, but that fits in here. Um, you can see it on this guy. There's the metal clip. Um, then you will need, let's see, this 3D printed plunger, this 3D printed plunger retaining ring, and this cap body. This one is sanded. This one is raw out of the printer. I like to sand them. They make a really nice, smooth finish, and if you stop at about 600 grit, they retain like a little bit of a brushed finish instead of perfectly smooth that I like. Um, we'll work with this one. And then you need one 3D printed grip. So there are four 3D printed parts. Um, again, you can download those. A twist erase, these pieces of P200 or broken mechanical pencils in this spring. Okay, so to make one, first thing I'm going to do Let's take the twist erase apart, take the nose cone off, and take this rubber grip off uh, and throw it away because it's disgusting. You can take this, um, 
this piece and generally I have to clean these out with a needle file something like that until they're nice and smooth but not too oversized you want them to press on um, then we can put the tip back on okay and we can take this guy off remove the clip on the twist race this can be a little tricky I find uh, moving it bending it a little bit to the side sometimes helps Play some Benny Hill music and fast forward this. There we go. Um, then we don't need this, although it is a nice eraser. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the plunger, put the spring around the plunger, add your eraser with metal clip or ferrule or this piece of uh, masking tape to the end of this guy. Put on one of these P200 series or copy caps. <clears throat> then we're going to insert this into the cap again. You'll have to sand and clean this out on the inside with a needle file. Not that hard. Then in goes the retaining clip. You'll notice this is conical on one side and straight on the other. Oops. Conical bore, straight bore. The straight bore goes uh, towards the top of the pen. The conical bore goes inside. Just going to push that in. Then we're going to use the tip of the pencil to seat it. Okay, sometimes when these uh, little collars, that red plunger retainer is really tight, I like to take something like a empty X-Acto knife handle, something like a you know metal tube, and just pop that in there. Okay, and that's seated. That's not going anywhere and uh, you should have this button that is sprung. Yep, we can take that off and see there's there's our eraser. Then you can take this pencil and add a cap. Um, if this cap is loose I like to put a ring of masking tape right here and then this cap will sit fine. Okay, nice and snug. Now we've got a cap on this pencil bit and it should go in here and activate like that or go in the other way, be capped like that. Okay, then the last part is sticking on this clip. Takes a little finesse. I like to start it at one side and Push it over to the other. Might it be a little easier without this cap in the way. Sometimes I like to put the clip down on the table like this. Start the cap at this angle and just roll it right in. Um, there we go. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, here's a size comparison. It's actually not any longer than the original Pentel Carry, but it is much fatter. Um, and they're about the same size when uh, deployed. Yeah, same, okay, uh, same length, um, capped and uncapped, and then the twist erase is just a little bit longer. Okay, well, I hope you like it um, or don't like it but find it interesting. Go download the stuff printed out and have a great day. I feel like this pencil looks a lot like my idea of retro-futurism. Like what you might have thought in the 60s a pen from the future would look like, but now here in the future looks like it is from the 60s. It's kind of a style of pencil that I don't love. I guess that's like the executive style pen or pencil, whatever that means. 
um, rather than like an artist's pen that's usually very tight. But this thing is very tight and it's pretty nice to work with and categories are worthless anyway. I feel like George Jetson would carry this pen. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye.